much like the final of the heavyweight division, Pedro Mourinho, much younger than his opponents, Wagner Hosha. Pretty much a similar age gap in between Roberto Cyborg and Pedro Mourinho. A wealth of experience on Cyborg's side in this match. But hey, youthful enthusiasm and hunger goes a long way, and that's an aggressive inside trip there from Pedro Mourinho to open the match. Seems fearless, Chase, absolutely fearless. Yeah, Paige Marino is tough as they come. Nothing faces him. Look at that commitment to the shot already. He knows he's going to have to push Cyborg to his limits if he wants to get the victory today. Oh, look at that spin out. 360 spin to defend the Russian two-on-one and answering with a double that went out of bounds. Man, these guys are so explosive. Mm, really nice work there. Pedro also looking to slap on a guillotine at second's notice. Of course. Split second. <laughs> <laughs> you expect nothing less from Mr. Mourinho. This really is the, the grand finale here at Nogi World, so it's the big one, the one that everybody's been waiting for, the one that, the campaign that started yesterday with the Absolute Division running with, uh, man, there were, I want to say there was around about 30 black belts signed up for that division, 29 by my count. These two emerged, the finalists, Pedro Mourinho beat Adam Wodzinski, Victor Hugo, Brian Giorgio, whereas Roberto Cyborg had to fight past Gabriel Almeida, Max Jimenez, Ruben Coronado. And you know, let's not forget that Victor Hugo took out, uh, excuse me, that Pedro Mourinho took out Victor Hugo in the quarterfinal match. Victor Hugo was the number one seed in the absolute division. He was the most recent no gi world absolute champion. And Cyborg was the silver medalist in that match. So if Pedro Mourinho can take out both of the finalists from that last world championship final match there, that would be something ex extra. That would be something really, really impressive. But looking rock solid here is Cyborg. His, his posture looking pretty unshakable. And see some entries and some feints from Pedro Mourinho. Had a look at some, some trips and some foot sweeps. Trying to tie up, trying to snap down, trying to take a leg. But Cyborg looks like a brick wall. Yeah, I mentioned that in the final Pedro had with Cyborg's uh, teammate, Wagner Rocha, where both those athletes are always in position. Very hard to get an angle on them that they're not ready for. So basically it is running into a brick wall <laughs> because they're just prepared for almost anything. Pedro Mourinho was the champion in the heavyweight division, 202 pound weight limit. Cyborg's weight fluctuates, but we estimated it to be somewhere around the 235, 240 range. Sizable weight advantage. They're pretty even in height, but you can just see the Cyborg so much. Oh, look oh, at that foot sweep attempt there. Pedro Mourinho gets an advantage for that. Cyborg. No, oh, well, both the... Uh, oh, look at this guillotine, though. Guillotine attack. Guillotine attack here from Pedro Mourinho. That looks pretty good. Cyborg's really struggling to get out of that, but he did. He pulls it off. Shakes his head no. Says well, no way. That, they took away the advantage for the foot sweep attempt, but I would have thought that that 10-finger guillotine would have absolutely been worth an advantage. So still 0-0 zero, zero in this match so far. Mourinho being very calculated in his attacks. Cyborg on his heels basically seems to be waiting for Pedro to initiate something at this stage. Oh, 
little inside trip there. You have to admit, Pedro, despite being calculated, is making things work for him. He's, oh, yeah. He's seen some openings. He's, he's he, initiated far more than Cyborg has at this stage. Just past the five minute mark, just over halfway into this encounter. Arm drag attempt, but Cyborg quite easily moves out of danger. Around three and a half minutes remaining now in this match. We saw a similar theme in Cyborg's match with Victor Hugo where down by advantage, not necessarily initiating and then exploded into that back take to earn him the victory there for, for nothing. Perhaps Cyborg is conserving his energy for the, the final remaining minutes here in this match. Yeah. Could be. I mean, we've seen other matches won and lost this weekend on last second efforts. Cyborg pulls guard. Okay, that's an interesting development. That's, uh, that's different. That's uh, even unexpected, one might say. <laughs> Pedro certainly takes the bait. He, uh, he's all about it. He wants that top position, so driving through. Nice footwork there from Pedro Mourinho, Cyborg. Perhaps reconsidering there what, what would be his best option if pulling the might might not be the way to do it. Just about two minutes left here on the clock. Oh, look at that. Big There's the double leg from, from Cyborg. Pedro, from Cyborg, but Pedro's on the neck. Okay, they're doing the taking back in the center. Oh, no, it looks like it might be a medical stoppage here. It could be a, uh, a little blood on Cyborg. Advantage or not, Pedro, you'd have to think, is an act of most of the aggressive actions in this match. And we're back to it here. Minute 15 left on the clock. Oh, straight Pedro on the neck again. On the neck. There's a good snap down into the guillotine. Great look at the look at that. The, but a beautiful spin from Cyborg. Amazingly, the bandage is still on as well. But Pedro shakes his head, maybe <laughs> a little bit perplexed on what he should do. No one does that to his guillotine. But I guess that's more of a headlock in that particular case. And then Cyborg certainly seems to have the answer, though, to at least getting out of danger. Another takedown attempt there. Ooh. Goes out of bounds. They hit the mat. It was initiated inside the area. 
advantage. No, no advantage scored. Still 0-0 with less than 30 seconds remaining now. How is this going to end? Fifteen seconds now. Who will get off the last shot? Cyborg goes down. Will we see a reshot from Mourinho? No, we will not. Instead, it goes on that neck once again. Gonna go to a decision. Time has expired. This will go to decision here. I'm glad I'm not on the judges panel for this one. Well, our three judges will issue a decision. Let's see what they have to say. Wow, it's unanimous in favor of Pedro Mourinho, the first year black belt in his rookie season, taking double gold at the IBJJF World Nogi Championships with a decision win against the veteran Roberto Cyborg. It is a big, big win for the newcomer on the black belt scene. I mean, who would have imagined that a Pedro Mourinho will come in and take double gold here this weekend at the Nogi Worlds? Well, uh, Mourinho going to be very happy with that performance. Having a little word there with the referee just to uh, inquire about some of the, uh, the scoring situations most likely. But let's take a look at some of the best moments. Here was that spin counter to the Russian two-on-one following up with a blast double. Cyborg got way busier in the latter half of the match chase and, and was initiating the majority of those wrestling exchanges. And Mourinho was playing a very uh, counter fighting kind of game, was looking to snatch the guillotine. Well, it gives some insight into where Cyborg's mind was. He might, he must have thought that he was probably down on, if it came to decision, needed to make something happen. But for every deep shot, Pedro either locked on a, a heavy headlock or even a guillotine. As we see here, this match goes out of bounds. Really phenomenal weekend for Pedro Mourinho. What a statement. First Nogi Worlds as a black belt, takes on double gold. Well done for Pedro Mourinho. Well, let's take it over to the podium because we can see our bronze medalists, Gabriel Almeida and Adam Wodzinski.